What the flip phone? Well, hello guys, it's me Jeff back again and here Well, Deca decided to update the game today. So I guess we're going over that I do have a 4,000 gold giveaway active on the channel right now So after this video is a perfect time to enter the giveaway and I will actually pick the giveaway pretty soon because I'll be gone for some time I'm going to Germany on a train ride. Okay, let's read what Deca says Realmers, another update is coming your way. You were able to test some of it already last week during our public testing session and now it's time to enjoy the changes and new things. Let's welcome the new ST sets for the Archer and Wizard to the game. Additionally, we are starting the long-awaited second alteration of the Void event. A new story also find its way into the game, a Steamworks story. The Nexus will be decorated in a void theme. Let's have a look at all the changes. New STs. The Archer and Wizard both received new ST items with this release. We have the Cogbold Turksmith Archer, and I went over this in uh, the past video. So if you want to see how this works, I'll play some footage for you right now. But if you want to see a more detailed uh, look on these two ST sets, I recommend the uh, end part of the last video I released, and you can find that on my channel. They say, this set focuses on wisdom and defense. Defense allows the turret smith to tank a few hits as they get into position to deploy the sentry turret, while the wisdom keeps their MP high to redeploy it as needed. I think that this ST set was really fun to use, and I think it's pretty good. It's pretty strong. The turret is very interesting, and I like the way they've done it. So yeah, this gets like a five plus star. Yeah, and then we have the Cogball Pyrotechnician Wizard. The Deca says this set focuses on rapid, indiscriminate damage. It boosts dexterity over attack, allowing for a constant stream of fire from the weapon while filling areas with sparks and flames from the unstable firework spell. So. Yeah, I think that the Archer set is much better than the Wizard set. It's pretty interesting. I like the visuals on it and the staff is pretty unique uh, looking. So I like that, but I think that the Archer, set, Archer ST set was much stronger. With this comes a Steamworks story. So if you decide to buy gold, I don't know why you would, uh, you can um, get some extra rewards with your uh, story so you can yeah get some ST items of your choice we have a steamworks story free pack right now available it's nothing special got the skeleton skeleton keys but yeah nothing more than that well the big thing in this i think is the void event we waited a while for this but the void event is back for you uh, for the next three weeks, you will be able to take part in the event running in different dungeons depending on the week. Collect void stones to turn them into rewards at the Tinkerer. The event runs from 20th of June until 11th of July. In the realm, you will be able to fight the Void Heralds. Additionally, two remnants of the Void Portals will spawn. Those portals will always spawn with the following mods. It has um, Weak Boss 3, Tame Boss 4, Weak Minus 3, Tame Minus 3 equals very easy dungeon the void will always do drop two uh, void stones and will give you 1.5 loot and xp during the whole duration of the event first week uh, of the dungeon event we have dead water rocks and crawling depths second week is this haunted cemetery david jones locker third week is the high-tech terror wooden land labyrinth uh, also running uh, loot and xp boosts and uh, a chance to spawn remnant of the void there is a leaderboard for the void event and the top 100 players will receive exclusive pet skin void child pet skin and a mystery st chest and the top uh, 500 players or 100 to 500 will receive a mystery st chest void quest week one yeah you'll see this uh, in game nothing more than that Celestial Summer. The summer is around the corner and rather already upon us. Go have a look at the Tinker. The Celestial Summer expression quest lets you pick one of the new emotes for five Celestial Stones. This quest is repeatable. You will be able to choose from one of the following emotes. And we have all these. Uh, I would probably go for the tree. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and we have some changes to Moonlight Village. 
so yeah they've said this before with the moonlight village and we have some bug fixes and that's uh, the whole update a very minimal update i would say but i guess it's the start of the summer i would have liked something more because the void event is just basically a recycled event and two new sd sets is not that unique for the releases of the game so i would have liked something else uh currently i'm not really playing the game um but yeah i guess this is not getting any more attention from me here we can see the void nexus it's pretty big Ooh, this guy has a floating skin that's pretty cool that that is the skin i uh, praised a lot uh, back in some video so free pack right now yes very nice do i get something more yeah why not I have a lot of gold. Join the giveaway if you want some gold. Uh, possible uh, to get some gold. Yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, check out the the daily quest room. That was the point. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I guess uh, this is just the last part. I'll show you uh, events. So you have these void stones. You can turn them into both the void quiver of shadow shadows item of choice once per account so you gotta remember that 10 of these will turn into 10 of these not worth it at all uh, not worth it not worth it not worth it uh this is with um battle pass and was that it nah maybe that's it for now but yeah that's pretty that's pretty boring Ooh. yeah well uh oh yeah guess You'll be uh, exalting your mana pretty fast with this event. That's um, the best part of this event. But I would have liked a little bit more from Decca before the summer. So we can actually have some incentive to play in the summer. And I guess we have Moth of Maggot coming up soon. Or soon in some months. Uh, and I'll update you on everything about that. And I will make a video on my predictions for this year's Moth of Maggot. And uh, join my Discord server for some tier 13 giveaway things yeah thank you for watching i love you guys i'll see you guys later bye bye